Hello, I'm Nick, and we'll be going over the uh, Minicog today, which is a screening tool for uh, cognitive recall issues. Primarily used for the older population, but I suppose it could be used for, you know, younger people too. Um, you start this tool by asking the patient three words, different categories are helpful, and if they can repeat them back to you. Um, you know, how many words they repeat back to you. Zero, obviously they have recall issues and probably aren't even alert and oriented. And two out of three, three out of three. After that is done, you move on to a the cog part of it, which we have them draw a analog clock face. Circle all the numbers. And then you give them a time to put in with the big hand and little hand. And depending on how well they draw this clock and you know, if the order, if the number's out of order, if it's not a circle, um, if they put in the wrong time, kind of gives you a hint of how well their cognitive recall is. This is good for patients that are, like, alert and oriented, but they're on the teeter of having, you know, like, cognitive issues. So, you know, like, starting to slip into that dementia, or uh, they have delirium secondary to some sort of metabolic or some other issue or uh, you know maybe they're really depressed it's gonna happen with older people too um, it really does bridge the gap between people that are literally or oriented and people that aren't um, this tool is generally used when like somebody has like a, a fall at home and like the story sounds like they kind of got confused or when they got to the hospital they were confused but as like you know they got more familiar with the hospital they're less confused what this tool is really good for is it will uh, lead you clinically to kind of like press for more labs or, you know, more diagnostic um, tests to figure out if this patient has an issue that needs to be addressed or not. It's also um, good for patient safety because if somebody, you know, knows where they're at, knows what time it is, knows what day it is, but they can't draw a clock face right, they can't like put the right time on it or god forbid they didn't even give you the right words back that you said you know how safe are they to be living by themselves or how can you trust them to be taking any med medications they have to test so it's good to find out if your patient's cognitive recall issues make them a safety risk to themselves which is useful for deciding whether or not to discharge somebody um what surprised me about this tool, mainly just the information being learned, is uh, the fact that m like 40% of people over the age of 80 um, have some form of dementia. Um, I would use this tool in my clinical experience just to, you know, if I have somebody that seems like, you know, they're alert and oriented, but they're not all there, and uh, they're in that age bracket or they have those precursors just to kind of see how safe they really are and, you know, test their cognitive recall. Yeah. All right. Thank you.